Yes, friends, it's day two, feeling very alive, feeling very good. We're in the domain, and this is kind of like the central area. We're coming into kind of the older part of Sydney. Hyde Park is just across the street. St. Mary's Cathedral is just over there behind us. And we have a super fun day lined up. We're gonna be diving into the history of Sydney, and then we're gonna hop on to a, uh, a ferry a little bit later and make our way out to Manly and Manly Beach, which is another one of the beautiful beaches here in Sydney, Australia. So stick with me, stay tuned. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. We're gonna start things off with a nice walk through the domain, through the Royal Botanic Gardens, and then we'll make our way down to the Opera House and the Rocks, the oldest part of the city, before we head out to Manly and Manly Beach. Stay tuned. to the Botanic Gardens and it's so cool to see so many different plant and tree species from all over Australia as well as all over the world in one place. It's a great spot to go on a run or just to take a casual stroll but this is on the way to our next destination so we're gonna enjoy a nice walk through here and keep on moving. Let's go. The Royal Botanic Garden Sydney is one of the oldest scientific institutions in Australia, and it's right at the heart of central Sydney's waterfront. It covers an area of 30 hectares, almost 75 acres, and it's right in the heart of Sydney, just a short walk from the iconic Sydney Opera House. The gardens are home to over 8,000 plant species, including many rare and endangered species, as well as different themed areas such as the Australian Rainforest Garden, the Palm Grove, and the Oriental Garden. It's also got a great little cafe right in the middle of the gardens, which we stopped at for a quick breakfast. The gardens are really, really big, and you could easily spend a whole day exploring around and looking at all the different types of plants and trees, but we had places to be, so it was on to the next stop. Obviously, it's mandatory to check out the Sydney Opera House. So here's the story behind this iconic building. In 1957, the local government ran an international design contest to build an opera house here on the harbor. 38-year-old unknown Danish architect named Jorn Utzen entered his design and won. Little did he know that it would become one of the world's most iconic buildings. It's now a World Heritage listed masterpiece of human creative genius. Unfortunately for Jorn, he and the local government had a unfixable disagreement. He ended up walking out halfway through construction. They were way over budgeted and another architect came in and finished the uh, construction for him. Regardless of how things ended, this building is one of Australia's most visited and it's one of the world's most recognizable buildings. And personally, I think it kind of looks like something out of Star Wars, but you let me know. It's, a, it's definitely a strange looking, but cool looking building. We've got the local wheelie brigade, check it out. Good job guys, thank, thank you. you. Have fun. Don't get in too much trouble, all right? <laughs> Travel Filmmaking 101, take advantage of what you find. Those little kids, they were great. From the Opera House, it's on to the Central Business District's Circular Quay, where all the ferries from all of Sydney's many suburbs arrive. 
But what really catches the eye here is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge is a steel arch bridge that spans the Sydney Harbour, connecting the central business district with the North Shore. Construction began in 1924 and was completed in 1932. It's one of the world's largest steel arch bridges, measuring 134 meters, 440 feet in height, and 1,149 meters long, 3,370 feet. For adventurous travelers, you can climb all the way to the top. We then walked around Circular Quay to the waterfront right near the rocks, the oldest part of the city. I love the funky modern architecture of the Museum of Modern Art and how that avant-garde design juxtaposed so strongly with the old cobblestone streets of Sydney's past. But all this walking had us ready for lunch. Okay, well, it's lunchtime and we've made our way over to the Spice Alley. It's pretty cool. It looks like it's just hiding down this back road and then there's a bunch of like Asian street food, hawkers, and it's a good spot to get a feed. So let's explore. little bit of everything from all over Asia but because we are going to Thailand right after this and we're stopping in Hong Kong I'm gonna avoid the Thai food and the Hong Kong street food I'm a huge fan of beef rendang it's like one of my ultimate favorite meals and there's a little Malaysian place down here that's doing roti and beef rendang platters so I know what I'm having what did you get Singapore noodle. Alex is sharing with me because unfortunately they didn't have beef rendang. Sad day. But this looks really good and it was on their top sellers list. So, and it's good. Okay, well, the adventures continue. We are now in Chinatown. And uh, this is cool. It's like a pedestrian only street. It's lined with all these beautiful trees and little restaurants and everything looks super authentic. The smells smell good. It smells like we are in Asia. And uh, this is a good little teaser for the rest of our adventure, which begins tonight. It's our last day in Sydney, but um, there's a lot of stuff to eat here and we're gonna see what we can find. I'm not super hungry, but we're gonna eat something. So let's go find out what we can get into. Sydney's Chinatown is one of the oldest Chinatowns in the world. And it's a great place to eat, shop, and experience a different side of the city. the ferry to Manly from Circular Quay. This is awesome. This is a great way for four bucks one way to get a tour of the harbor. So we're gonna go right past the Sydney Opera House and then we're gonna make our way out to Manly and Manly Beach and probably grab dinner out there.
Manly is another one of Sydney's suburbs out on the coast. It's famous for its beach, surf culture, and it's a really interesting place to check out. Okay, well, we've just arrived to Manly Beach. We took the ferry from Sydney at Circular Quay out to Manly, and it's a beautiful evening. Lots of people in the water surfing. It's a little bit overcast, but you know, intermittent sunshine. It's about dinner time, so we're gonna grab dinner tonight at the pantry, which looks like it's in the old lifeguard building that has been refurbished, but oceanfront dining, food looks good. Let's go eat. gelato Anita gelato I need a gelato is it Anita or is it I need a I need I don't even like white, white macadamia nut. I've never ordered a white macadamia nut anything it just looks so good and it is so good so I'm having a little bit of a flashback here pedestrian zone manly turns out I've been here before although I barely remember it I think I was like seven or eight years old I was here with my family, we were visiting my relatives who live in Australia and I don't really remember but my parents told me what happened. Uh, my brother and I stole the change off of the table in the hotel and caught the ferry out to Manly, spent the day out here at the beach just enjoying ourselves, probably having a gelato honestly and then caught the ferry back and went back to our hotel. Little did we think of how my parents might be feeling. This is way before the days of cell phones, you know, like easy internet access. We were gone. We were gone all day long, just having the time of our lives out here at Manly Beach. And uh, my parents thought we were abducted. So, sorry mom, sorry dad. But I can tell you, we had a damn good time at Manly Beach. Now I'm a fully grown adult man having a gelato here with my wife and I didn't steal any change to take that ferry. Life is good. As we hopped on the ferry back to Sydney from Manly, the sun began to set and we were treated with a spectacular view of the city skyline. 
All right, friends, well, there you have it. 72 hours in Sydney, Australia. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your own tips or questions down there in the comment section, and make sure you are subscribed with notifications enabled if you are not already. If you are subscribed, please consider joining this channel. All the info's down there on the join button. All right, we'll catch you in the next chapter. See you in Thailand. Peace. Hey, 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 don't go anywhere. I got plenty more videos for you to watch. Check these out and do not forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Peace.